It just did it flash. No, it just went. Okay. I think it's on now. <laughs> no, it's back on. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll keep moving. How tall are you? Well, let's see. So let me show you. Oh, let me get you another knife, yeah, but let me show you something. Yeah. It wouldn't be that thick. Let me get you another knife. Hey, Tammy. So when you do, stay with me, when you do those, just put them on that side. But they can't be too thick or else they'll never, they'll never cook on time. Okay, so there we go. And I, I don't like cutting potatoes on TV because I tell you what. You doing the white potatoes too? Yep, both white potatoes on that side, sweet potatoes on that side. I mean, it, it means, yeah. What's your name, baby? Yeah, oh, Tina. What is it, Tina? Nice to meet you. Tina. Is her message yet? You no, don't know my I don't want uh, necessarily a bunch of crazy stuff on the camera. So, um, but you know what? You're the cameraman. Just do your damn job. There we go. So, here we go, guys. We're going to have two versions of the steak sandwiches. Um, one is with the ground turkey. You'll see what that looks like in a minute. And then the other, because Imphan is difficult, he happens difficult. to be a vegan. We're going to do white button and port bella button mushrooms okay, for him. So we're going to do two different versions of the steak sandwich. Did we get people coming back on him? We got Tammy and we got Christopher. Christopher who? Look, this Christopher right Brown. Here. Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Hi, Brown. And Daryl Prince came in there. Okay. Um, here you go, Mama. Come on, team. Look, look. So, just, that's it. Okay, that's it. Just, you know what, the whole lot of them. I'm going to steal some for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> but just the whole lot of them. There we go. We're all good. So everybody is doing something. And uh, we started a little late today. And we've had, it's not us guys, it's Facebook. Some technical difficulties. So we're going to get out roughly in about an hour. I'm, I'm pretty confident of it. An hour from like right now. Yours can go back in there, and then I'll take that off your hands. And you guys know the rule. Clean as you go, clean as you go. So I'll be the cleanup person, since everybody's working so diligently. Oh, you did good. Those are, those are great looking cuts. They're all even, and that's important. No, that's really important. So there we go. This is a real kitchen, y'all, so... What happens in the kitchen stays in the kitchen. <laughs> um, we are waiting on those potatoes. Be careful. They get some interesting shapes over there, but you know what? It's going to be good. It's Gregory good. came in. He <laughs> wants you to tell him again what's on the menu tonight. Uh, and Bill Kent just hopped in with some smiley faces. Okay. Well, you can tell him. That's perfectly okay for you to tell him. Go ahead. Go for it, Infant. Do you know? Do you remember? Yeah, it's some burgers. <laughs> you got a burger, a veggie burger, and you got another burger, uh, meat burger, so, steak burger. So, Impon <laughs> is our stand-in cameraman. Tamerlin could not be here tonight. She had an emergency. And so we're doing Chicago-style steak sandwiches. Um, with ground turkey, um, and then we're doing a mushroom version, and they are going to be off the chain. We're also going to hit you up with a side of sweet potato fries. You want a bigger knife, uh, T? Sweet potato fries. Let me. No, that's too much. I want you to hurt yourself. Um, and white potato fries. Let me grab your knife. 
So not, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Not quite burgers. Almost burgers, but not quite. A little bit different. So let me show you the cut on that too, real to put to you. So for this, this is going in the mushroom, and it's also going to go into the um, steak sandwiches. Right. So have you ever seen somebody cutting something? It's like, no. Yeah. So Tony knows how to cook. See, she's not just pretty. She's not just pretty. She knows how to. No, it's not. It's not just kidding. She knows how to cook too. So she knows that that cut. It's gonna be, fine, yeah. Uh, yeah, not too yeah, fine, but not too chunky. <laughs> not too chunky. Watch the cut. Well, yeah, mama. See, people people don't really like when you call them bitches. I mean, some people it doesn't bother. Other people, most people don't. Like right, it. most people don't like it. Is that I why you? Like it. Is that like why it. you do it? <laughs> do you do you call people bitches because they don't like it? Is no, that what, because I feel like somebody was acting like a bitch. You know what a bitch is? <laughs> oh, okay. a female dog. That's what they act like. Oh, okay. tell, it, tell it like it. Did you know that? <laughs> well, listen, thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. I appreciate you. So, mom, mom, nigga, little mom, scruffy. Nigga. Don't act like it if you're Little Scruffy will be the reason we go viral, but she will also be the reason that um that, that I become a substance abuser. What are you? You know Hey, what's going on, Keith Wilson? Hey Keith. Bill Clark Kent. Hey Clark Kent. No, I was talking to you. Okay. You got any pop, can you? Uh, do we have any pop? Uh, I might be able to ring some pop. Let's see. Everybody's just chopping here. away, chopping mm -hmm. away. Wow. It's looking good. It is looking good. And you can smell the garlic. Oh, so I didn't tell you guys. So, as you guys are chopping, I might as well tell you. So, onions. Anti-inflammatory. Vitamin C. A lot of people don't know it, but onions are full of vitamin C, vitamin B6, a lot of other minerals and nutrients. Uh, food is still under extreme study. And what we do know about food, especially the food that God made, is that it ain't too much going to hurt you like the processed foods that we're eating. So um, onions, anti-inflammatory. Peppers. Uh, the red peppers and the yellow peppers have like 10 times more beta carotene than the green peppers. Why don't you put also, the antioxidants, full of um, vitamins, full of minerals. You should be eating these all the time. Celery, potassium. Oh, potassium in the onion, potassium in the pepper, potassium, guess what, in celery. Put it on the side. Magnesium. Uh, vitamin K, which is one of the questions too. Uh, we don't, don't have our normal camera person here, so I, I kind of remember this question. The question is that came up last week was, I am on a blood thinner. The doctor is telling me that I cannot eat vegetables. That is so untrue. What the doctor is hopefully telling you is that you just need to have a certain amount of micrograms of vegetables um, in concert with the level of medication that you're on. So don't run out and start eating kale salads, but you do need to talk to your doctor. Um, there's nothing that should prevent you from eating vegetables. Vegetables help your body to heal. And so... Find out, you know, get with a nutritionist, get with a health coach, get with somebody and find out what that magic number is for you. You may not want to have four cups of vegetables a day. That may be too much and may have an interaction with your medication. Mm -hmm. But to have no vegetables, and I literally get a lot of people thinking they cannot eat vegetables because they're on like Warfarin mm -hmm. and Coumadin. Yes. That is absolutely untrue. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to protect myself and say, Check with your physician, uh, but please know that you, you can have vegetables. In fact, they help you and help your uh, medicine to do what it's supposed to do. Also, um, dig this. Alcohol causes more of an interference with your meds than vegetables ever will. So we need, we need to know that. We need to have the facts about stuff. Okay, so we're chopping it up. Keith Wilson gonna, said, what's up? Hey, what's up, Angie Keith? came in. Um... 
How many keep eating celery? Because. Just because. People don't eat nearly enough celery. And how are we doing with the potatoes? We almost done. Okay. I'm going to stick those, Tony, right over here. And we'll just keep cleaning as we go. This is probably enough of that. I hope you guys are cooking along. I know we have people come on and off and on and off. We've had to start a couple of times. But come on, guys. Cook along with us. Everything is almost prepped. And we're going to be going to the stove here in a little bit. It doesn't matter what kind of knife you have. They're like really hard. I'm gonna. You're done. Don't worry. This is enough, I think. We gotta get. We gotta get crackle lacking. Good job. Bam. Good job. And so this big strapping man. These sweet potatoes are something else to cook. And we're gonna pull some of these to the side. There we go. Those are some big fries. Big these are some big fries. But look who cut them. <laughs> and you still have. Skin on them. Is that is that is that healthier to have the skin or or does you know, it make a there a lot of that's a good question. A lot of nutrients in the skin, so you can keep the skin on, not hurting anything. Just wash them real good. Yep. Okay. 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 We're not cutting that off. Okay. Okay. So I think what we'll do. Come on, Leroy. You want to do something else? I mean, you you got to take these potatoes to fruition. So uh oh, sorry. So I'm gonna have you. Really quick, I'm going to have you uh, douse them with salt, pepper, and coconut oil, okay? So let's grab that. So why are you putting coconut oil? Because I don't want to use olive oil. We're going to use olive oil with, um, with the meat and with your mushrooms. So we're just going to use a little coconut oil. Coconut oil is a little bit sweeter. Um, sometimes we use coconut oil, sometimes we don't, just depending on the flavor. But with the potatoes, um, they're going to go really nicely together. Okay. Huh? I said it's good to break up the oil. Yeah, different, different, flavor, yeah. different types of flavors, different types of fats. Um, is that healthier? Oh, is there is which is better, the coconut oil or the uh, olive oil? Is there a difference? So one of the things we got to stop doing is asking which is. I mean, obviously that's a good question because some oils are not the best for mm -hmm. you. Um, but this is a more saturated. Okay, olive oil is more uh, mono, un, mono saturated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mono unsaturated. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about one being better than the other. Mm -hmm. It's just about one, the dish that you're about to cook and how you want it to taste. Coconut oil is sweet, and so I don't necessarily want this taste in the steak sandwiches. Um, but it's good just like to eat a variety of fruits and vegetables. It's good to have good fats, a variety of good fats in your diet. So that's a good fat. Yeah, so it's not about like which one is better. We, we kind of get into that. Don't you agree, Tony? We kind of get into that. This yes. is better, that's better. Um, but as long as it's not bad for you and it's good for you, and they're not animal fats, right? That will clog up the arteries, right? Um, oh, okay. These are all healthy fats that come from plants. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bam. So do you take? Gregory asked, do you taste the coconut? You can taste the coconut, which is why we're keeping it out of the other mixture. But we'll we'll taste it here. But I'll tell you what. Come on, let's get crack a lack. Uh, what you also notice with the coconut oil is. It is more of a solid, and that's why it's more of a saturated fat. It's a little bit more solidified. Um, go ahead, and you kind of got to, yep, you can wash your hands afterwards or before if you need to. Okay. So we'll keep washing as we're going while we're waiting on that. So we're just going to massage the coconut oil in there. I'm going to go ahead and open this up really quick. Bonita join. Tina join. Hi, guys. This is ground turkey, Purdue. Um, I like Purdue, I like Jenny O, um, all ground turkey is not created equal, but these tend to taste pretty good. Come on Leroy, we got to get those potatoes in the oven because if they don't start cooking, we're already looking at 8.30. Um, yeah, just, just 
Massage it all. Yep, all over. Yep, all over. Don't be scared. Yep, just get in there and get it all the way through everything. Yep, there you go. And we could have we could have melted that a little bit for them, but uh, we didn't. So it's okay. It's okay to get a little messy in the kitchen. So get it all through. All oh, you got the video on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What is playing? Yeah. I was still sharing it. Oh, so you're sharing it as we as we are talking. Right. Geraldo just came well, I had in. I to stop to work in the kitchen. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So I can do that too, huh? Mm -hmm. Can I do that? Yep. I've sure. never done that. I'm normally not on the computer. Tamblin does all that. But see, mine's not moving. Don't do this one for you all. See, I don't have I don't have a live. I think I don't know why. But anyway. This is gonna throw you off if you're looking. Why are you trying to? No, I won't throw me off. I don't get thrown off very easy. But um. <laughs> Come on, get that mixture all up I in there. There's some more on this side. A lot of oils on the there's right. Some, there's a lot on the, yeah. on the that potato right here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, just mix it through. There we go. We'll get it in the oven. Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> we'll eat before midnight. No. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and lay them out. Let them breathe. Just get them over there. We'll drizzle them later on. That's good. That's good. Oh, now you into it. Now you, okay. Now, like, okay. Now, okay. Go ahead and rinse those hands of yours, and I will salt them up for you. You got to get them in the oven because it's important that things finish, that they finish around the same time. You don't want to be waiting on any particular thing. Look, if you're heavy with the salt shaker, don't do it like this. I'm not that heavy with it. So, there we go. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to put a little black pepper on them. You can use white pepper. You guys probably heard I'm not a fan of uh, white pepper. Um, but white pepper keeps you from getting the little pepper flakes in there. So, if you're going for aesthetics, <laughs> white pepper might be a little bit of a better deal. When this is almost cooked, no, let's do it now. You know what? We got so much going on. So, let's do it now. So you're bait. You're gonna. Uh, what do you call this? Baking, broiling. You're not frying the, them up. What is what is this called? So uh, we absolutely are not frying them because we know that frying is the most toxic thing you can do to your body. Mm -hmm. It's fried foods, not sautéed, but fried. Um, this is. You anybody can answer that. He doesn't cook at all. So I'm not a cooker. Uh, 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 uh. I love baked, to eat, they're but I don't baked cook. Baked potatoes. Yeah, baked potatoes. They're baked potatoes. So they're baked French fries they're or baked, they're baked potatoes? They're baked, chunky, delicious baked fries. fries. Yeah, so let's get that in the Baked oven. fries, okay. All right, let's set the timer for those who are about, we'll check them in 30 minutes. All right, guys, if we're going to get out of here... We got yeah, baked potato wedges. Baked potato wedges. Yes. Okay. Yeah, or French fries. Potato, French fries. You don't want to say <laughs> fries. <laughs> they don't want to say the word fries. Okay, they don't want to say it. All right, don't say it. Use wedges. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I think the next thing to do. Oh, for people who have been, I've been getting questions about this. This is uh, this is my company logo. It's just a little man. This is a yoga pose called Tall Tree. And his um, his arms are open wide. His heart is open wide. That's yes. all it is. Go ahead, model, ladies. Yes, yes, yes. Tall trees. Oh, yes. Looks good. <laughs> See. <laughs> and he has tall trees. You know, have, you have, you have, you have, the original, yeah. original tall tree. <laughs> open your arms. Open your tall tree. So, so can we buy these or are these? Uh, oh. Um. Not not at this time. Let Let's wait until my merch comes out. Okay. And jo then, and then, yeah, they'll be on the website. But John Thompson says, "Hey, sis, bring me some to Houston." Okay. Okay. Sounds like a deal. So let's let that fire up. Oh, you know what, Tony? We're gonna fire on both of them. Well, I mean, they don't take very long, though. So we'll start the meat. Durham, tiny uh, Tanya, join. Hi. We'll start the meat. Um, we'll save some of everything 
for M fonds. And you know what? I might have I might have the same thing you're having M fonds. Um, that's good. That's good. This is gonna be so good. And so we'll save that for you. Yeah. Oh, okay, garlic. Thanks. Smooth plate yes, came hi. in. Hey Sonny, how are you? So we'll hang on to that. We're letting the uh, olive oil get hot. Tony, you mind wiping that down for us? We're going to clean as we go, clean as we go. They call me Susie Sanitary in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. Keep your station clean. Does anybody want to make a comment? Um, anybody got anything? You guys, I'm talking about you. You guys are awfully quiet. I know I had you chopping and fighting, but please feel free to have fun. You have an event coming up. Tell them about your event. I'm, what's sure. going on? Talk. I, I hate sure. to be on <laughs> Well, on Friday, March 30, my company will be hosting Elevate Networking for Business-Minded Entrepreneurs. It's going to be at By the Hand Club, 415 North Laramie. That's on the west side of Chicago, 60644. Come on out. Doors open at 5 p.m. We'll be there until 8.30. You'll have an opportunity to get your networking on, possibly... Uh, do a little business or conquer business, and also you may be able to find some employees. We may. We also going to, to have fine oh, employees. Oh, like, <laughs> we're also going to have vendors there, and then a special guest. It's a secret. You'll find it on my Facebook page, Tina Augustus, or Elevate Services. Look it up, and you'll find out who will be our, our featured guest speaker. And then Saturday, April the 7th, from 9 a.m. until 2.30 p.m., my company is also hosting a business forum at the Columbus Park Refectory. So look on my, on my Facebook page. You'll, you'll find some information coming up soon. Okay. All right, anyone else? Before you got anything coming up? Um, yes, yeah, so March 25th. Oh, yeah. March 25th is our, is our next uh, bag day preparation. Um, we have it at on 34th and King Drive. For some reason, I can't remember the exact address, but it's at the Et Cetera Social Club. Um, and we, like I said, we, we sit there and we prep lunch bags. I mean, we have turkey sandwiches, um, fruit, water, um, and then some type of snack. Um, usually, we try to make it as healthy as possible, but um, if not, you know. We're, we're still going for a good cause. So if you want to come out and volunteer, feel free to check us out. Well, feel free to check us out. You can um, reach us directly at uh, freshvisiongroup.org. That's F-R-E-S-H-V-I-S-I-O-N-G-R-O-U-P dot org. Anything, Tony? Uh, no, we don't have anything coming up at this point. Yeah, um, but you just, you just scratch them away. Let's just scratch them away. Yeah. Yes. Um, but right now, uh, basically, uh, I do have some, uh, some things coming up. I'm doing some six-week workshop for young men and young women, teaching them all of the different social etiquettes and different things that they would need um, in today's society that they may not have had an opportunity to learn at home. Um, everyone doesn't get the opportunity to learn everything that they need to, to uh, you know, get out into the world. So I'm doing um, a series of workshops starting in the next couple of months. So please look out for it. I will post all of that where we're dealing with young men from middle school to high school and young ladies. Oh, that's hey, look Tony, out for me. Yeah. can we still get you under Tony Talks? Um, can we still? Yeah, yeah it okay. will be posted under Tony Talks. Under yes. Tony Talks. Under okay, Tony Talks. great. Yep. Great. All right. So guys, see, the sky is not falling. The world is a great place. And just depending on what perspective you're looking from, you know, people do need help, and that's what we're here for. We're here to, we're here to help people, not complain. You know, it's funny because uh, if you complain about the complainer, you become the complainee or something like that. I might have to develop that a little bit. But I, think you guys, I think you guys know where I'm going with this. So we got to get crack -a on this meat, though. So here we go. We're going to turn the light on for Infon, this is you. Everybody can gather around the stove. Tina, bring your veggies. They're not going to hey, go Tina. in right away, but they will be going in. Tony, why don't you help me on seasoning? This is a lot, right, a lot of meat. Me. So you got some, okay, it's over here. Have, it's over here. Okay. It's onion powder. Yes, so this is three pounds of ground turkey. Um, it's starting to, we don't want it to cook too fast. We don't want it to cook too slow. So... 
onion powder. Is that top on so all the way? So is this a saute or is this a, what, what type of uh, preparation is this? So this is this is a, a saute. We can call this a saute yeah, or a ground. Okay. We'll we're proud of you. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. What was that? The, that's the onion, onion powder? Yes. Okay. And let's do some garlic powder. Shake it like a salt chicken. You guys can see it bubbling up there. Onion and Don't garlic. Stuff. I'm, stuff. Heavy. That's I'm a heavy that's seasoner. Good. That's heavy good. Seasoner. Okay. That's a lot of meat. We're so going to go with a little A1? Not we yet. Not okay. yet. But we will do it eventually. Okay. So um, we just the onion and Yeah. Let's and get this cooked just a little bit more. Oh. And then we'll put our... We should put a little dash of salt in there. Sorry. Yeah. Let's grab some black pepper and some salt. And guys, salt won't hurt you, only if you overdo it. Oh, there's a salt shake. shake. You should take it slow, Tony. You're scared. I'm taking right. it slow. Take it slow, Take, take slow. it slow. All right, let me know when to stop here. I think we are good. Okay. And we're going to have a ton of spices and whatnot in there from the I'm moving celery. in there with the pepper. Yep. Come on, Mama. All right, you let me know. All right, I think we're good. All right, we're good. So we'll let this cook up. We're going to hold off on the mushrooms for right now. And one of the reasons we're holding off on those is because they're only literally going to take five minutes to cook. And this is going to take a little longer. So we got our potatoes. We got our potatoes in the oven. Sweet potato, white potato. They're actually golden potatoes. We've got our meat getting started. We got started a little late today. What time do you think it was, M. Fon, when we finally got rolling, like really rolling? About 8.20 or so. Yeah, your 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 okay. guess is is it's as good than as yours. Okay, and so we're gonna get the veggies in here. Okay. Tammy wants you to bring all these people with you to San Antonio. Okay. What about me, Tammy? <laughs> <laughs> Can I come? Slowly, yeah, just a real slow slow deal. There we go, and we might be able to do a little bit more fire on this. Let's see. Turn it there in. we go. Now wait on you. Get those all incorporated. Mm -hmm. Incorporate. Incorporate. That's right. Make love mm -hmm. to your food. Don't just throw it around. Just take your time it, yeah. and make your food, you know? These vegetables look so green. Mm -hmm. The vegetables look so green? Oh, uh, Tammy said yes. She got a yes. She going to take. Oh, I get to come too. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can keep going, T. All right. We'll get it in there. I tell you what, let's just do something because we got downtime. Right. You have ever seen an infomercial and somebody did something mm -hmm. and then the people start clapping? So let's just start clapping. Yay! 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 that we have to start looking at a little bit more, you can put it on me for a minute, uh, Yvonne, is uh, we got to start looking at how we market each other. So that's a great segue into marketing. Because have you all, all ever talked to your, like a kid or something and, and they just you just picked them up from school and you asked them what they did all day and they said nothing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the beginning of faulty marketing faulty marketing for your child and I think I'm not into black and white and all that I'm obviously a black woman I obviously love my people but we've got to start marketing each other in a way that that adds value so sometimes that means sitting around and just clapping and going yay and not a whole lot just happened marketing is everything and marketing I feel if somebody wants to say something and if y'all do please jump in there but marketing makes the difference uh, on whether or not Tina gets that next contract based on what I said That's right. about her. Um, <laughs> marketing is the difference. Um, marketing is what the news is doing a good job. The news is doing a really good job doing bad marketing for us. And so it's really important that we do better marketing for each other. And not just for the black race, but for the human race. Because once again, the sky is not falling. Things are, things are pretty great around here. 
Right. Does somebody want to say? I, I Tammy's feel asking, "How about a commercial with one of Carl's videos?" Uh, I wish I had the technology to do that at this time, but Carl is. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, he's playing uh, at S South by Southwest, not actually in the event. Uh, tell me, just tell me what you're trying, what you want me to do. Just tell me. The lights. It's too much light. So do I just need to do that? Yeah, or move over. Okay, oh, we'll just do that. Are we okay? It's okay. Fine. So um, you know the name of it. Leroy, I think he's looking it up. Uh, but yeah, South by Southwest is uh, uh, an annual festival, and it's a ton of artists that come across uh, from yes. across the country that come to, that convene in Austin, Texas, and um, like Lollapalooza here. Yeah, but it's really like, it's really a good time for exposure for artists. Period. You know, so um, I'm I'm about to pull up exactly what Carl is performing tonight. So okay. come back to me. Thank you. Thank you. And see, that that's just, just that little thing, somebody knowing that. Look, I don't know the name of it. Yeah, that's my son, but I don't know the name of it. But he can pull it up real quick. That's just that's just good looking out. And sometimes it's not the big things. It's just the really little things um, in life that count. So if we get back to this ground turkey, I'm going to do a little trick with it. Tina, will you hand me the potato masher? We're getting there. It said, uh, and go ahead. Oh, but uh, yeah, Carl will be performing tonight at 9 p.m. at Lux Lounge. Lux Lounge. Um, it's from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Um, so, yeah, if you're in the Austin area, check them out. Okay. At Lux Lounge, 9 p.m., Austin, Texas, a South by Southwest independent event. So, go Carl. Carl is badass. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because I'm his mama. He really is good. You guys see uh, some of his videos, I'm sure, on Facebook and Instagram. I share his, his work a lot. Okay. Man, I'm fine. I feel like you all up in my face with that camera. I sure oh, am. Oh, my Lord. Well, that's not necessarily <laughs> a good thing. I like my face a lot, but you ain't got to be all up in it. Okay. So, watch this, though, guys. You can, remember we talked about consistency and incorporating and all that. You can mash this with a regular old potato masher just to get you know you see people with the big hunk and a little mm -hmm. piece and a big hunk and a little piece mm -hmm. eh, that's not you know I mean it's alright but if you could do something better why not so just take a good old fashioned potato masher and that will give you a little bit more consistency so this is almost done so because this is almost done, we've only had 11 minutes on the potatoes. Let's turn that up just a little bit. Um, we'll wait. We'll get this all seasoned before we do the mushrooms because the mushrooms aren't going to take that long. And Tony, we'll put you on mushrooms? I'm on mushrooms. Okay. You're on mushrooms. Cool. So we get that all broken up. Same size. Looks good. Yeah. And any nobody's saying anything about the smells. I know oh, it smells, smells good. Right. Just thinking. Oh, it's yeah. hypnotic. Really yeah. good. I, don't, I can't, I can't, I can't find it, it smells so good. Either. Yeah. Um, so you guys know I have a lot of stories. I, I was a corporate trainer um, in corporate America. But uh, I'll, I'll just have to say this too. Um, because, again, this is a collaboration show. If you guys, if you want to say something, please jump in there. I, a lot of people say, well, I'm busy listening to you, but if you something pops up, say it. So, true story. Uh, back in the 80s, American Airlines, they were trying to cut cost. And so they went to all the employees and they asked the employees, you guys, what ideals do you have for us to cut costs? And people came up with all kind of ideals to cut costs. And there was one person who thought they had the silliest ideal. It was to remove the olives or a few of the olives from the drinks and they told their friend and their friend like well that's not a bad idea I mean how much are you gonna save if you remove the olives from the drinks there are thousands of flights that go out a day there are thousands of people drinking every day this adds up anyway that person uh, finally got the courage to submit their ideal and ended up winning a very large sum of money so um, we have an obligation, I think, to open our damn mouths. Mm -hmm. That's why we have mouths. We have stuff to say, uh, and particularly if it's good stuff and it's going to be helpful to people, then don't be afraid to open it up.
So on that note, anybody got anything to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> not right at this moment. Yeah, well, not at this moment. I, I, I've got something to say. I'm, I'm really proud. <laughs> say it. Really yeah. proud to be in such a, a, a powerhouse of a room. You know, filled with such such successful people. So that's that's amazing. That's great. Yes. Thank you. Let's give him a round of applause. Yes. Yeah. 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 Professor at assistant, North. Assistant. Assistant. You give me a promotion. Assistant. You give me a promotion. At North University. <laughs> National North Lewis. Lewis. National Lewis oh, University. I know I'm, I'd be messing people's stuff up. At National Lewis University. He's a really, just a really nice person. Um, so thank you for doing camera duty for us today in our little emergency because he was actually supposed to be out here with everybody else. I am here. I'm here. Okay. Now. Any questions? Any comments? Are we telling everybody Vanessa hi? Vanessa Join and Freddie Robinson. Hey just guys. Okay, T. All right. Sweet honey craft, sweet honey barbecue sauce. Yes, ma'am. You know what? You know how to cook. What? I don't want to be so hands on. I tell you what. I don't measure because I don't need to. But I tell you what. We're gonna get not an overload, but we want to get a nice sweet honey taste in there so roughly I'm gonna say three ounces so maybe about three ounces Shake it like that's, Shake it. that's one two that's three that's three yeah hey, that's Van good Norris. oh look at that uh, Vanessa she said hello beautiful people hello, hello Vanessa. Vanessa hi beautiful we love you too let's grab that tomato sauce so we want to get the tomato sauce in there. I think we could, Enough? let's not do the whole thing, but just about just all about of it. Okay. So why would you put the potato with the barbecue, you know, sauce in there? The potato with the yeah, I mean, the tomato should, sauce you know, with you the barbecue. You want to save this small amount? Let me just see where we're going okay. with it. We want to kind of get a gravy consistency going. We'll probably use it. And we know if we turn the fire up a little higher, yeah, you can this will yes, yeah. yes. Yes. So, yeah, we're definitely going to need some more of that. So let's get that in there. So that's just a tomato basil, and that was actually left over from a pizza. Uh, Mr. Warren came in from New York and did. I'll throw it away for you. And then let's open up another can of that tomato sauce. Mm, you got it open. You got some strong hands. Hey. Strong. So let's do maybe a little bit more, maybe. Okay, let's see what we got here. Now, are you guys smelling that? Oh, it's it's great. Yeah. You're just weak from the hunger. Y'all weak from the hunger? Well, we, we kind of stalled them for time because we're waiting on those potatoes, but we knew that would yeah. happen. So let me have some brown sugar. And what we got to do is we got to get this up and we got to keep working this until it gets nice and thick to zesty. Okay, so not too okay. much, but maybe a little handful of brown sugar in there. So is this, this is going to be a lot of flavor. You got the sugar with the, the you barbecue. The seasoning, the... You got the veggies, maybe a little bit more, Tony. All right. Okay, you can see this kind of thickening. Now, some people put starch in it, some people put flour in it. We're not doing that. We're going to keep ours as close to natural as possible. So, let's do a little bit Ooh, more tomato sauce. Good. Yes. And it's okay to say out loud, it smells good. <laughs> because It smells delicious. Yeah. Mm. Because the people can't smell it. And if I'm the only one saying it, they might not believe me. Actually, it probably would. But still. Okay. Now, I want to do a little taste test. Do we have a spoon over there? This one here? Here. Let me get a little bit. Tester. Okay. So you guys see that kind of cooking up? Okay. What do we need? It ain't right. Okay. And every 
What do we need? Every good cook knows that you got to play with it. So, we're going to re-season everything one more time. Not, not as heavy. Not as heavy, but one more time. You yes. want another hint of it. Just a hint. Okay, I think that's going to be right. So this is about to be, come with me, Infon. Bring the camera on me. Not so close. You can back up. <laughs> so this is about to be back up, back a up. taste explosion, which is pow, pow. indicative. I don't know where you guys grew up, but on the south side of Chicago, we went over to on 87th Street to Taurus and got steak sandwiches and ice cream. Okay, are we um, going with more sauce? We're, we're going with more sweet now. honey. Sweet honey, okay. And then we're going to top it off with just a little bit of A1 sauce. Okay. Okay. That's going to bring it home, baby. It's going to bring it home, baby. Bring it home. Okay. Ernest B. is in the house, and so is Jay Howard. Hey, Jay Howard. Hey, Ernest I, B. I, I Hi, to, everybody. I just want to say, Ernest B. Uh -oh. How you doing? Uh-oh. <laughs> I just want to say that. Okay, we're going to top it off now with the A1. Mm -hmm. Just maybe two ounces, just a little drizzle all the way through. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, yeah. now, you guys see how it's thickening up? Mm -hmm. Did we do brown sugar again? Um, rinse this. Did we do brown sugar again? Yep, he didn't do brown sugar again. One more time, One more just a pinch. Can of the brown sugar. Okay. Just a pinch. Who made that song? Brown right? sugar. And we did, D'Angelo. D'Angelo. Yeah. Too much, not too much. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. You know they said it wasn't really about brown sugar. It wasn't about what was it about? Something really bad. Oh, okay. Drugs. Oh, really? Uh oh. Yes. Spoon is ready again for the taste test. You want to taste it? Oh, sure. Go ahead. I'll go back uh -oh. in there and taste it. Get it all incorporated. It's again. all incorporated. All right. Go for it. Guys, high fire. We want it to thicken. We want it to condensate just a little bit. We there yet? You take it too long. I, I, I feel it needs a hint of salt. Let's see what we got. I could be wrong. But just a hint. Let's do a pinch of salt. I said pinch of salt, what you said? Mm -hmm. I salt. would even go with a little more garlic. A little more garlic powder. And we can do a little salt. bit of garlic and pinch of salt, then we're done. We're going to let yeah. it sit. I vote right. for the salt, too. <laughs> taste. Yes. Here, this is clean. Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah, Leroy, taste. Yeah, yeah. Take it off. Double dig Go ahead, go. You can, you can dig in there. Yeah. Sorry, cameraman, you get to eat last. <laughs> Sorry, you just got to keep this thing going. Alright, so pinch of salt. <laughs> pinch of salt. Come on, Tommy. He can't pinch taste salt. His taste buds are burnt up. There we go. Okay. And a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic and then we are done. Yeah, don't you guys think so? Y'all taste it? Okay, a little bit. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah. Alright, I think. Hey. Alright. That's it. Oh. So we're going to put it on a, right on a low fire. Our Joel, he That's said he can't good. hear. He can't hear. That's really good. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Um, he can't hear. You haven't touched the controls, have you? Mm -hmm. No, you haven't, right? So I'm not no, sure why he can't hear. Check his advice. You might want to ask everybody else if they can hear. Uh, to make is, sure. is anybody else having any problems? They'll let us know. All right, guys, let's come on back. Okay. Uh, actually, we're gonna get actually, we're going to do a mushroom. Well, olive oil? Yeah, we're at the stove a lot. Tammy says she can hear. Okay. If one person can hear, then we know it's not us. He may need to tap the screen. Nah. Uh-uh. He's fine. He's a little for you, right? right? I mean. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. perfect. Okay. Okay. And a little bit of cayenne pepper. Oh, and cinnamon. No wonder they weren't over here. What did you just put? Cayenne? That's cayenne, a little bit of cayenne, cayenne, a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, bit of cinnamon. Yeah, I knew something was for the kick. There you go. There you go. Okay. He says, our, our Joel said, I can hear you now. Good for him. <laughs> that's good. Okay, so that's sitting. Uh, the smells are off the chain. Okay, 
We're almost done, guys. What time is it? Anybody time know? Eat. It's time to eat. Mm -hmm. Anybody know? We it's eight. Ken Bayless time. Eight he just jumped in. No? It's 817. 817. Okay. We're doing pretty good then. Um, Thanks, Anna. Here we go. Mushrooms first. So we got to kind of dig under the bottom. Uh, yeah. Tony's going to knock that out for us. We're going to do the same thing with the mushrooms that we did with the ground turkey. And so let's look at this. Oh, yeah, we're ready. There we go. Yep. <laughs> She's, our, our, our Joel Stewart said, don't get smart, coach. <laughs> and then someone, Anna, Anna says, I need a small button. Oh, a what? smell, oh, smell button, sorry. <laughs> yes, you do need a smell button because it smells really, really good. And it's going to be even better. Hey, Tina, uh, can I get you to grab a pack of bread? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many of us is it? One, two, three, four, five. So it's Mama six. Can I get a little spatula or something? And just, um, maybe just cut the bread open. There you go. Thank you. So cut that bread this open. for you. It's for me, yay! Oh my goodness, that's that cinnamon and cayenne. Okay, can you put the season season these up? Okay. Same way, same seasoning. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And yep, just let them. They'll just melt on down. They'll mm -hmm. melt away. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And let's take a peek at the bread. We're going to take our wheat bread and we're going to cut it open here. You got it? Okay. Oh, she's, she got it. She got it. Um, Let's put it on a platter. Roy, will you hand me that platter down there? Mm -hmm. We're just going to stick the bread on there. We're going to get ready to plate. I'm going to need to check those potatoes in a minute to see if we can go full speed ahead or if we need to slow it down. Now, is there anything special with wheat bread? There you go. You there you go. Huh? Is there anything special with wheat bread? Well, is there anything special with wheat bread? Well, if it's real wheat bread, it has a, a endosperm and a brand to it. Um, uh, truthfully, wheat is really not very much better than white. That's just a big marketing campaign right there. But if, if it's going to be wheat, it needs to be a whole wheat um, or a whole grain or a whole whatever type of um, bread that you're using. Um, quite frankly, a lot of people have an uh, intolerance for wheat and can't have a lot of wheat. I know for me, uh, if you start giving me a lot of pasta and a lot of bread, I'm going to swell up, uh, and as most people would. And so mm, that's where the thought of you can have things, but maybe in moderation. So you wouldn't be having bread all the time. Uh, bread should be somewhat of a treat, and not all the time. Yeah, we're going to do all of them. How you doing over there, Tony? I'm doing amazing. I'm keeping it going. I'm keeping it going. Everything's okay. working out. Great. And then we're going to chop up some spinach because even though we're already loaded with greens, we're going to add some more greens to the mix. Is anybody cooking along with us? I guess they Leonard probably they would have told joined. us by now. They what? Leonard Butler joined. Okay. Is Leonard Butler cooking? And where is Jake from State Farm? We have a guy who who signs in. His name is Jake from State Farm. No, really, it's so it's so cute. I just think it's the cutest thing ever. Okay, so Tina, just just a light. You know what? It's so easy. I'm just gonna finish it out. There's no sense of even giving it to you. Let's just switch it. So we're just gonna take that spinach because we are gonna put oh, some. Oh, Tammy spinach. Morris said I'm doing it tomorrow. Okay, Tammy Tammy does it the next day. She watches the first day, and the next day she does it. Um, that's cool. Let me know how it turns out, Tammy. Tammy is the other grandma. So she is the other grandma in Texas that gets to kiss Excuse all me, over my babies. Oh. Uh, 
Yes. Here. We're, you know what? Let's go. I'll come back to you in a minute. Let's take it off the fire, Tony, though, so it won't cook down too much. All right. And we'll come back and we'll do it on camera together. Let's see. I put the actual dry seed. You open that up? Did you open those pickles? Yes, I did. You got strong hands, too. I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, dry seasoning. Put the dry seasoning now. Okay. Okay, so the pickles. Guys, portion size. Let's talk about portion size real quick. The pickles, portion size really doesn't matter when you're eating stuff like spinach and veggies and all that um, because I have never met anybody who wanted turn it off Tony please who wanted bowls and bowls and bowls of spinach and couldn't stop eating spinach so when you start talking about portion size you're talking about potato chips and ice cream and stuff that's not necessarily that great for you that's where portion size comes in that being said though we eat too damn much people eat too much they like greedy you know, your stomach is, well, your stomach is, is it, it can hold a lot. you got intestines large and small. But, yeah, you stretch it, which is why you see a lot of people with extended tummies. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, instead of everybody eating a whole pickle, I mean, if you want more, you can have more. You can have as much as you want. But there's no reason to even start with a whole pickle. So, Tina, will you do me the honors of just maybe cutting two more of those? in fours and we'll sit that to the side somewhere we got light. our bread can you get the light get the light we got we're going right back over there actually oh, um, um let me season this one up tony okay um so come on in fine back to the stove heat is off so tony did a good job of getting this sauteed now what we don't want to do is we don't want to keep cooking it we want to keep them firm we don't want to get them real mushy so that we can turn off. Tony um, deserves a hand too. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so all the dry season is on here already? All the dry is on there already. All I mean, the dry may, season. You, know, you may okay. want to do the taste test and it, see if you're gonna add more, but I did. Hey yeah. Christopher Cotton. Catlin, is that my son? Christopher okay, Brian I'm gonna put a little yeah, bit more, more in there. Yeah, yeah. A little bit yeah, more because we cooked it out. That yeah. fire's off now. We definitely though, right? got it down low. Okay. We got it down. Mm -hmm. So we reduced it. I'll keep folding it in. There we go. Let's fold this. Let's in. get some more in there. We want that to be Sausage. nice and juicy. Okay, so here's the mushroom with the veggies. And the sauces, the tomato sauce, the sweet honey sauce. Tommy Lee just hopped in. Hey, Tommy hey, Lee. Tommy. How you doing, Tommy Lee? Hey, Kitchen is getting a little. It, it looks pretty good. How we looking, guys? The counter space and all that, because we gotta get this plated, because we gotta get we gotta get home. We gotta go home. Now I'm going to put. Are you? Uh, you do hot food? A little bit. Cayenne. So a little, little bit, bit of cool. cayenne. I, I, I little put a little cool. in there already. Take it easy. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of cinnamon. Let's open up some more cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon, just a little. Give it that pop. And a little bit of A1 sauce. So, this is your meat. This is your mushroom. Same meal. One's vegan, one's not vegan. Both are absolutely delicious. Okay, let me go ahead and taste this one. Let's see where we are. Get that all mixed up in there. That looks good. I might eat that one. Okay, guys, we got to get plated and get out of here. Leroy, you mind taking my computer and maybe putting it out the way somewhere? I think. I'm done with it. Let's see what we got here. What's happening on those fries? Oh. Amphon, you're gonna really like this. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's what. It's like gonna make onion. me do the cabbage patch. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I better check it and make sure. That's okay. Good. I don't want That's good. Check, check quick. But it's it's a wrap because it's done. It's seasoned to perfection. Uh, ooh wee! Mm. 
amazing. Wow, that's good. Amazing. Uh -huh. It's really amazing. I can have that one side. We got five it's minutes left. Good. We need three on the fries. We need three. So, what I'm going to do. <laughs> We can start plating, guys. We can start plating. So, I'm going to have Leroy, you're good to go. You're off for until we get our plates ready. Infon, there is um, kind of, I'll walk you through how it ends. I don't know if you remember how everything ends at the end. Guys, we are close to home free. Everything is pretty much done. Uh oh, is that still on? Oh, we don't want that on. We don't want that on. Everybody gets the plate. So, Tina, you can help me plate. There you go. And let's see. Keep the kitchen clean. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Tony, Tina. One more plate. Okay, let's see what we got here. There you go, Mama. Okay, I'm going to do, and this will be mine, I'm going to do something a little different here for me. I don't need all the carbohydrates, okay? And so I already know bread makes me puffy. One little piece of bread isn't going to hurt anything. But I'm going to do what we call gut. So I'm going to gut my sandwich. I'm going to gut it. And look at all that that's coming out as it's being gutted. Okay? That's a lot of bread. I just need something to hold on to. I don't have to have all of that bread. So I'm going to gut mine. Now, if you were, we didn't do any commercials tonight, but, you know, it's okay. Things happen. Um, you can do what they call an open face sandwich. An open face is just using one half of the bread, not using all of the bread. So there are a lot of ways to cut down on your carbohydrate content, okay? Um, Tina, I'm going to have you open these up. Anybody object to spinach? No. No spinach? No, no, I'm saying no objections. No objections. No okay, objections. good. Yeah, we like spinach. So we're going to get that spinach in there. Just like Popeye. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to get those in. Just like Popeye, and get that in there, and get that in there. Anybody object to anything, like cheese, actually, like pickles, actually, any of that? Kenya, uh -huh. I'm not going to do bread at all. You're not doing bread? Okay. I'm glad that spinach this happened. Base, just spinach, spinach base, base, and the vegetables in there. So, you low carbers, and I'm going to tell you something. We got a lot of sauces in there, and that brought up the carb content on this, but Tony's not doing bread, because she's... Looking, uh, keeping that girlish figure of hers. So here you go. You take the same meal, same meal, bed of spinach, bam, and we're gonna put the meat on top. You doing cheese? Yes. Okay. So look, same meal, just different thing gonna go on in the body. Not so much carbohydrate from the wheat. Okay. That's right. You weren't. That's right. You're not doing the wheat. Okay. So who wants a pickle? I'll take a pickle. Pickles. I'll take a pickle. Take pickle. Pickles. Pickles all around. Pickles. And we know pickles are a form of fermented foods, and we know that the, the gut belly needs good bacteria from fermented foods. So eat pickles, pickles. eat pickles with the liver. Have some kombucha, have some kimchi, all that fun stuff. Okay, so we got that. Let's get the fries out. Look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? Those are beautiful. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. You did this, Leroy. Give them a hand. Give them a hand.
cinnamon and cayenne on because with all this going on in the kitchen, we would have forgotten. So these are seasoned, once again, to perfection. I'm not going to eat a lot of them because I don't need all the carbohydrate. I'll get a few. Everybody, a few, Tony? Just two. Sweet just potato. two? No white, no just white. sweet? No white, just sweet. And so the difference is between white potatoes and sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes obviously have a little bit more beta carotene. Um, that's the color that makes them orange. Um, and they have more, a little bit more fiber in them. But potato is not the enemy. Um, you hear a lot of bad stuff about potatoes because if that's the only thing you're eating, then yeah, I mean, and it's, it's not, with potassium. not so great. It's yeah, how you it's got it. potassium in there. Uh, but in and of itself, they get a bad rap because you, you're normally eating them with hamburgers and, and all that kind of stuff. Fried. And they're deep fried. And, and then that's the only thing you have. Can you scoot that bread over a little bit for me? Look at these plates. So, Infon, are you getting okay. this before we go off the air and do our bite-in shot and all that? Are you scanning? Okay. So I'm gonna start. Give, me, give me one second, Tony. Give me one okay. second. Okay. So, are you scanning and giving everybody... They're getting the, the scan, yeah. they're getting the view, the portrait. This is all about portrait. this pool. Okay. So, whose plate is this? Leroy's? Sure. All right. Let's do it. Tell me when this stuff. I think a nice big spoonful for him. Okay, maybe more. Yeah, maybe. I, would, I would think more. Yeah. Oh, he's so hungry. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. And that's you. The protein, yeah. There you go. Okay. That's good? Yeah. Okay, that's Tina. Tina. That's me. A little bit more, Tina. You want more, Tina? Yeah, a little more. We're hungry. Okay. Okay. Em, nope. This is me. This is... It's yours? This, no, I'm good it. This is You're me. Good it. Okay. And that's vegetarian there. And then we got to get M. Bond. That's, yeah, okay, there we go. And let's switch out for him. Okay. Last but not least. And then we'll do the bite in. Who's doing cheese? Anybody doing cheese? I'm doing, I'm doing cheese. cheese. Is this I, you? I'll do the cheese. I'll do the cheese. No, that's, that's him. I'm in the corner right there, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. me. Okay. You doing cheese, Tony? Yeah, I'm doing yes, a little bit. And I'm going to have some of these vegetables, too. Okay. Look at that. No love lost here. No love lost here. I'll send you my bill later because this is too <laughs> wonderful. Is that good? Meals. You want a little more? No, that's good. That's good. Okay, no cheese. Cheese, cheese. Cheese. Please. You do cheese. Okay, Tony, will you hit that, please? That uh, timer. All right. You got the food all scanned for us, Empire. Yes, yes. Okay, guys, we didn't get to do commercials. Shaw, Shaw said beautiful. Yes, it is beautiful. Come on, guys. Hey, Miss Tammy. Vegetables Let's time. do a little vegetable. We're gonna get you our bite in. No, I'm no. good. Okay. Um, grab your plate. Don't bite in yet, though, guys. We gotta do a bite in shot. I know you want it. Hey, Miss Tammy. That's what that's what Shari Shaw said. Yeah. Here you go, T. Yeah, you. Okay, grab your food. Mine is gutted. Chicago style steak sandwiches. M. Von, I cannot thank you enough for doing the camera. Just being our last minute cameraman. Um, thank you guys for being here. Last shout out, Tony. What did you want to say to the people? Let's start to celebrate each other, not tolerate each other. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, look, I, I, you, we can't bite. I'm, I want to bite in too. We can't, we can't bite in yet. Go ahead, go ahead. Meet me on Friday, March the 30th at the Elevate Networking for Business Minded Entrepreneurs, 415 North Laramie. 415 North Laramie. Be there. Last thing I wanted to say is um, everybody just think positive, stay positive, and live your best life. Live your best life. You only get one. <laughs> so, in closing, I'm fine. Once again, thank you. Thank everybody thank you. for being a uh, part of the March 16th version of Foodie Friday Night Live. I've been on time all day, and then all of a sudden we got a late start. But it happens. But guess what? We got it done, and yeah. that's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and bite in. I really want to eat this fry, so let's bite in. Mm, let's see what happens. The fries are really, really good. If you use gold fries, mm, they amazing. are off the chain. Watch this. Mm. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Want to say something? <laughs> Sherry says, have a blessed evening. Mm, mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Mm. We're great. signing off. Mm -hmm. Be yourself, just better. I'm Coach Kenya. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Okay.